Come stand up here. I need two women on the steps. I want you to see a picture here. Stand right next to her. Stand right next to her. All right. Now, I want you all to remember what you see, okay? The number one need of a male, write this down, is sex. Write that down. You need to know that. The number one need of a male is sex. I didn't say the number one mean, need of a man. Because the man is spirit. A man needs God. But the number one need of a male is sex. Why? Because the male is designed by God to be a progenerator. That means a male is always full of seed. His purpose in life is to provide seed. That's why every male right now is carrying half a billion sperms in his loins right now. He's a seed carrier. So his number one purpose in life is to provide the genes or the generations or the generations, the genes for the generations. So a male is designed by God to produce generations. That's why when God wanted to create a nation, he never went to a woman, he went to a man. Because a man carries the generations. He said, Abraham, a nation shall come from you and Sarah will incubate the nation. So the man needs sex. The man doesn't want sex, he needs sex. Say so he needs it. Men don't want sex, they need sex. A need is something that helps you function. A car doesn't want gasoline, it needs gasoline. If you don't have gasoline in the car, it stops functioning. A need is not a want. Men do not want sex. They need sex. Don't look at me so funny, lady. Say hallelujah, anyhow. I'm trying to give you some education so you don't get in trouble. Now because a man, number one need is sex because he's driven by the divine purpose to produce seed. That's why men have no cycles. A man have no menstruation cycle. He's always ready. All the time, every day, all day, anytime, anywhere. The guy's ready. All the men say right on. Don't look so quiet on me now. Help, come on brothers, help me out here. Help me out here now. So you see, a, a man ain't got to build up to sex. He's just ready. And he ain't got no cycle. So he's ready even when you are not ready. Creates a problem. Now most women who are married, especially you Christian women, <laughs> some of y'all think that your husband got a demon. What's wrong with you, man? You had it last night, this morning again? What's wrong with you? And yesterday you had it, day before. You're sick, man. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to take you to Pastor Matthew and cast out this nymphomaniac demon. You are full of the devil. And so, you take your husband down to the, to, the, to the office, you make an appointment to see Brother Matthew, and say, Pastor, my husband have a demon. He's a nymphomaniac. He won't leave his hands of me. You got to pray for him. Cast the demon out. And Brother Matthew says, I got the same demon. Can I hear an amen, brothers? Come on, Brother Matthew, help me out here. Amen, brother. That ain't no demon. 